Hey there, it's Dave with Flipper Force, and I'm excited to announce that we just launched our new material catalog tool, which is a central location where you can manage your list of all of your commonly used material SKUs for your projects. So most house flippers and real estate investors, they use the same list of materials on all of their projects. They have specific paint colors, specific vanities, doors, knobs, appliances that they use on every flip or rental property. Your new material catalog tool is where you can save all of your commonly used materials and then you can easily pull those material selections into your project estimates and seamlessly create shopping lists for your projects that will hopefully save you countless trips to the hardware store. So let's show you how it works. So I've got our material catalog open here and I've already preloaded it with a bunch of different uh, material SKUs from Home Depot and Lowe's. So I've gone through the Home Depot website. I've looked up all of the vanities, the faucets, the doorknobs, the doors, the exterior doors, the roof shingles, and I've gone through the list of all of the materials that are currently in stock and picked out some of the most popular materials and then I've added them to my own personal material catalog here. You can do the same with your own materials. So if you've got a select list of materials that you use on your rehab projects or maybe you've got some uh, specific materials that you use on your rental properties you can go over to Home Depot's website find those materials and you can actually easily add them and import them into your material catalog um, by just copying the link here so I'm going to show you how you can do this um, I've got a vanity here that I found which I think is pretty nice looking here it's about five hundred seventy nine dollars and I'm gonna load it into my material catalog to add it to my overall catalog and database here and so you can see once I added in that link, we automatically went out and downloaded the description. It found the price for us. It, it found the supplier um, and the internet number as well as the overall description with some notes here. All we need to do is add in a unit. So I'm gonna make this cabinet uh, each. And then I'm also going to categorize it to a specific category here. So I'm gonna do this under woodwork. And then I'm gonna close it out. So now that I've added that in here, we'll be able to find it in our vanity. So if you just use the search functiona functionality, you'll be able to find that here. So you can see I've got about 15 or 20 vanities. There's also some vanity lights in here. So here it is here. So now that I've got it loaded into my catalog, you might be wondering, so what's the point of this? Uh, the point is you'll be able to pull this information into your repair estimates and create shopping lists for your projects. So I've got the repair estimator open here and the repair estimator tool is the tool that you can use to create a scope of work and an estimate for your project. Now I just added a vanity to my material catalog so I'm going to show you how I can use that in my actual estimate on my project. So I'm going to go down here to cabinetry. Um, within the cabinetry category you'll find a bunch of different repair items. So we've got kitchen cabinetry, we've got bathroom vanities. That's where you'll find the vanity cabinet. So I'm just going to input one vanity cabinet at $500. So you'll notice that the estimator comes pre-built with some pre-built starter prices. So we've got $150 in labor to install the vanity. And then we've got a $500 material allowance for the vanity. So again, Flipper Force comes with starter templates that come pre-built with a bunch of uh, starter prices for labor and material. So we're telling you that we think $500 is a reasonable price for an average grade, basically three to four foot vanity here. And so we've got $500 plugged in as, a van as an allowance. So that allowance is something that we can use just in our initial budget. But once we start to maybe get the property under contract and want to actually pick out the actual materials, that's when we can use our material catalog here. So if you wanna pull in actual materials into your estimate, just go over here and click on the edit button, click on the material tab, and now you'll be able to pick out materials directly from your catalog. So I'm gonna type in vanity here to try to find this vanity. You can see I've got a wide range of vanities that I've already preloaded. So we've got some rental grade vanities in here. We've got um, some nicer higher end vanities. So you can see here's a wood, wood one here for 399 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one here, we've got a $500 budget. I'm gonna actually go with 399 version, so that way we can save a little bit of money. And once I've selected that material, it's gonna automatically pull in those details for that material item. So now you can see um, for this vanity cabinet here, we've actually pulled in an actual vanity. 
And this is a Glacier Bay Woodbrook version, which is a 31 inch vanity at $399. It's updated our pricing for here. So now we actually have an actual repair. We actually have a actual material in here instead of it just being allowance. So now we can get a little bit more accurate and start to build out an actual shopping list that we can use for purchasing materials on our project. So we can go through and do this for all of our different categories here. If we go down to like interior doors, we can go over here and search for some doors in our catalog and pull in some actual doors. So I'm just going to type in door here. And so you can see we've got a, some different doors. You might even say pre-hung or whatever term you might find, interior door. Let's do that. Okay, so we've got some different interior door options here. So I'm gonna pull in this six panel interior door, pull that into my budget here. So now we've got 10 doors estimated at $85 a piece for the labor and then $145 each for the material, 10 times 85 and 145 equals a $2,300 budget. And let's show you where all of this information feeds to. So as you pick all of these material selections on the estimator, it's also going to feed to a material list report. So if you go up here to the, the reports under deal analysis, you'll find a material list report. And so this material list report populates with all of the materials that you've included in your repair estimate. So if you've got an item on that estimator that includes a budget that is greater than zero, it's going to show up over here on this material list report. So you can see we've got some, we've got a bunch of materials here on this report. Some of them are included as an allowance and some of them have a material already selected. These ones that have a material already selected are those ones that I had selected there over there on the estimator. So again, you can select materials on the estimator or you can just wait to do that over here on the material list report. So you can see there's some here that we just have an allowance, which again means this is our budget for this specific material. Um, we think this should cover it um, until we get the actual material picked out. So let's pick out the material for this exterior steel entry door. It looks like we've got a total budget of $400 for the exterior steel entry door. So I might type in entry door here. And so there's a masonite entry door. That's just a panel. Just type in door so that way we can find it. So you can see we've got this $349 door, which has a little glass light. We could use that one. Um, so I'm going to select that one here. And so now that I've selected it, it's pulled in that material into the material list report. And so now instead of it being an allowance, it is now an actual material that we can go take to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever and buy this actual material. So we can do a, we can do the same thing with this French patio door. It looks like we got a budget of about $750. So I don't know if we got a French patio door in here. Here's a patio door. This would be more of like a vinyl window um, door, patio door. And then you can do the door hardware. So let's select the do door hardware real quick. And as you'll notice, like we are going to be improving some of our search functionality. So keep that in mind. Um, you also want to categorize things, which will help you uh, find your materials a little bit better. You can see we've got some exterior door hardware, which is more of like a smart hardware option for you. So you've got this digital hardware lock, which is obviously more expensive. You can see we only had $75 included for this item. So if we were to buy something that's like $270, $289, that would be blowing our budget. So we're going to want to buy something that's a little bit cheaper than that $75 option. Um, I'll just go, go select this one. This one looks more like an interior doorknob, but just so you get the idea here. Um, and so that's how you can do that. So you can easily pick your materials from your material catalog to help you build out your overall shopping list and material list report for your projects. Once you get done building out your material list for your project, you can download it, download it as a PDF document and then send it to the pro desk at Home Depot or take it with you to Home Depot and use it as a way to help streamline the shopping process of all of your project materials. And you also notice that we've got this like responsibility column over here. So this is designating who's responsible for actually buying this. Is the contractor responsible? So that means contractor furnished, contractor installed. That means the contractor's buying the materials and then they're going to be installing it or is the owner buying the materials. A lot of times when I'm, I'm flipping houses, I will buy the finished materials and then the contractor is responsible for all like the miscellaneous 
installation rough materials which is like the screws the the shims all the the two by fours all the miscellaneous stuff like that the contractor will provide and then i will provide the actual finish materials here so i'm going to designate these as owner furnished materials because i'm going to go to home depot i'm going to buy all of this stuff in bulk and then i'm going to have it shipped out to the job site in bulk and it's going to sit in the garage or a secure storage area so that way people don't steal it so that is the overall material catalog again it's just a centralized location that you can use to manage all of your commonly used materials and the real power of that is it feeds into your repair estimator tool and now you've got a visual estimator that you can use to pull in all of your actual materials in there so that way you're just you're not just using allowances or just budgets for your materials you're using actual materials from home depot or lowe's or amazon or menards wherever you're shopping you can upload those materials and pick out your actual material selections so that way you can create a nice material list report and shopping list report that you can take to home depot or lowe's all right so we hope you like that new material catalog we got a lot of new ideas and improvements on how we can improve that We'd love to know if you'd want us to share our material catalog. So I've obviously spent a lot of time going through Home Depot and Lowe's website, uploading these SKUs. If you want access to this information in your account and you think this would be handy, just reach out and let me know. Otherwise, let us know if you have any other feedback.